Hey everyone, it's your favorite real estate trio from Keller Williams Partners. Mike, Brooklyn, and Addison. Let's see if we can get you a good view of her. Addy, say hi. Hi. Just wanted to hop on here and talk about a concept that is becoming much more prevalent these days now that we've kind of headed out of that COVID market um, for real estate, and that's seller concessions. So for those of you that don't know, seller concessions are an amount of money that the seller can rebate to the buyer to help them with certain things like closing costs or rate buy downs. So as most of you know, the rates have stayed um, between six and 8% for the most part over the past year and a half. And we don't see any signs of that changing anytime soon. So the big thing that I wanted to talk about is how we can get a little bit of an advantage using seller concessions. So with seller concessions, there's different programs called a two to one rate buy down or a one year rate buy down. And this is funded by seller concessions. And so what this does is you lock in the current interest rate. And so say we did a two to one rate buy down for the first year, you're going to be getting 2% lower of a rate. So right now, say this is hypothetical that we are at seven and a half percent. And that depends on a lot of factors for the actual borrower themselves. But say it's two, say it's uh seven and a half percent for that first year, you're going to get a rate of five and a half percent for the next year. You're going to get six and a half percent. And then on the th starting on the third year, you will take on the current rate that you locked in right now. Not at that time, but right now. So you would be locked in at a rate of 7.5% in this hypothetical situation. Now, the great thing about this is this saves on your monthly mortgage and makes it a lot more affordable um, as the cost of living increases. Uh, many of us will receive cost of living raises, which can help account for that difference as you go through that time period. Um, also during that time, if at any time the rates decrease that are low to a rate that's lower than that rate that you're locked into, you have the ability to refinance at any time. So this is just one of the things that we can use seller concessions for. You can also use them to pay some of your closing costs so that you have less money that's coming out of your bank account at closing. But I just wanted to get on here and talk about seller concessions because we're seeing as this market slows down, especially heading into the holiday season, many sellers are more motivated to give concessions and we're seeing it on uh, most, if not all transactions that I've done recently where I'm able to get seller concessions for my buyers. So if this is something you want to look into further and see if it's applicable to your situation and a house that you might want to purchase. Go ahead and reach out at any time. I'd love to talk more about these concessions. It's really a great time to take advantage um, and a great time to buy a house. So I hope you all are having a great day. Once again, this is your favorite trio here signing off. It's gym time.